Hi there. Now for this question, we are asked to show that this equation here reduced down to this quadratic equation, 4x squared minus 16x minus 9 equaling 0. And you can check out my working here. And then in part b, we had to then go on and find the value of x, which satisfied this equation. And you can see that it turned out to be 9 over 2, or 4 and a half. So I'll just take you through this to show you the method that I used. When you're asked to solve an equation involving logs, what you've got to always remember is to reduce it down to two terms. A log term on one side of the equals and then another term on the other side of the equals. So with something like this then, what I've done is, first of all, with this term here, I've used the power rule where you take up the 2 as a power. You should be familiar with all these rules. If not, do check them out on my website in the tutorials. And then for these two terms here, being log terms, I've used the multiplication rule. When you've got an addition here, you can then turn this to the log in base 4 of x multiplied with the 2x minus 1. So I've reduced this equation down to one term, two terms, three terms. I still have to reduce it down to two terms. So I subtract this term from both sides. So I bring the log terms together. And then I use the division rule here when you've got a subtraction. Again, you should be familiar with this rule. It becomes the log in base 4 then of 2x plus 3 all squared, all divided by x times 2x minus 1. So I've reduced this now down to two terms. One term on one side of the equals and the other term on the other side. And now I remove the log, I anti-log, by saying that this is exactly the same as this value here okay, is equal to the base 4 raised to the power 1. Okay, should be familiar with that rule. And then it's just a question of rearranging this. Multiply both sides by x times 2x minus 1 gives me this. Expand the bracket here and the bracket here and rearrange the terms to give me the quadratic equation that we had to show. And then in part b, it was just a question of either factorising this or you could use the quadratic formula. And uh, then by factorising it, putting each of the factors equal to zero, we get two values for x. We know that x has to be greater than the half. And the reason, by the way, for that is that if it was less than the half, this term would be negative and you can't have the log of a negative value. So since x has to be greater than the half, we reject the x equaling minus a half and we end up with x equaling 9 over 2 or 4 and a half. Okay, 